Welcome to Comedy Cigars and Music. And today's cigar for review is going to be the McAuliffe Medallia. Been raining outside today. Mm. Off the foot and wrapper, I'm getting barnyard, dry hay, raisin, cherry, just a hint of chocolate, and some beef stroganoff. I was just joking about that beef stroganoff. I reckon that's a good joke. And that band, she's a pretty one. About as beautiful as a plate of mustard and biscuits. Alright. So right off the bat here in this cigar, we're getting just a little into things. Mixing it up just a little bit. And you're getting some oakiness, a little bit of fruit, sweetness, and milk chocolate. On the retro ale, you're getting just a little bit of sweetness. And then on the finish, you're getting a roasted coffee. Some of that fruitiness. Now that fruitiness, you gotta be patient. If you're just sitting here puffing on this cigar, ain't never gonna get to that fruitiness in the finish, I reckon. But if you give it some time to breathe, you'll get a little bit of fruitiness in there. And it is accompanied by a nice helping of spice. So, that's been good. Drawing smoke output or what I'd like to call about perfect. And that burn, that burns real good. And this cigar has a San Andres Abano wrapper, Sumatran binder, and the fillers are from Nicaragua and the Dominican Republic. So that's what you got there. Alright, we're finishing out the first dirt here. Flavor wise, gonna have some milk chocolate, fruit, and oak. On the retro hail, getting some roasted coffee, fruit, and as the smoke is finishing its departure from your nose, you're gonna pick up just a little dark chocolate there. Maybe. On the finish, you're gonna get roasted coffee, fruit, spice, and if you're patient, you're gonna get some milk chocolate. But you can't be puffing away on that cigar like you got some business beating you're supposed to be at it 9 in the morning and it's 9.15. Come to think of it, when you have thinner cigars like this, Especially with the draw, like this cigar is, which is real good. You can't just be puffing away like you're trying to do some breathing test at the doctor. It's almost like you want to make love to this cigar. You just bring that smoke in real nice and gentle like. Of course, you don't actually want to make love to this cigar. I think that's illegal in a, at least 28 states. That burn is about as sharp as a sling blade. Some people call it a sling blade. I call it a Kaiser blade. And that band is still real pretty. It ain't changed none. Mm. I'd like to thank a sponsor here at Comedy Cigars and Music. 58ring.com Knock knock. Click the link in the box below the video here and probably save yourself some money. Mm. Alright, we're getting about done with the second third here and flavor wise you got oak, earth, spice, cream, a little bit of milk chocolate in there still. Really good. Off the retro hail, we're getting fruit, some of that cream, and a little bit of spice. I ain't burning out my nose hair or nothing. 
Then on the finish, you're getting this combination of roasted coffee and leather. And then there's just a nice, gentle, soothing, I can't think of no more words, spice on there. Gotta tell you, there's just something about this cigar today. I don't know what it is, but I'm enjoying it. The burn has still been real good, I thought. I might have to touch it up, but I was able to get by with doing the smoke roll trademark, and that seemed to do the job. I was just sitting there thinking about seeing some of them trapeze artists one time when I went to the circus. That's it. Alright, we're finishing the cigar here, and flavor-wise, we're getting oat, fruit, milk, chocolate, and cream, and then here towards the end of the final third here, some black pepper spice has been knocking on the door. We let him on in, so he's part of the group too now. On the retro hail, getting some earth, Fruit, milk, chocolate. Now on the finish, getting some leather, fruit, and just a hint of milk, chocolate, and cream. Mm. Now we're down to the real nitty gritty here. Breaking this cigar on a scale of four. I'd give this cigar a three. It's making me about as happy as a plate of mustard and biscuits. The draw, smoke output, the burn have all been real good. I guess you might say effortless. So that's all I got to say about that. Smoke time for this cigar came out to two hours and eight minutes. Well, as always, thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this review, and enjoyed other videos and reviews, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Got any questions, comments, some kind of topic you want to converse about, make sure to leave it below. We'll read them, greet them, and I make some kind of response, I reckon. Until next time, be cool to each other, and uh, we'll see you soon. Mm. I'd like to thank a sponsor here, 58 and a half. Oh, such things, girl, about my house, to me, and me. Well, the way to the world, where well, should I know my soul? Yeah, the news and the news and the company. Are